Okay, guitar students, um, this is the first video in a set of two, and I'm going to teach you how to create a new piece of music on noteflight.com. So the first thing we do is type in noteflight, um, and it should take us to that main page um, where you signed up. But instead of clicking sign up for free, we're going to go up to the upper corner and hit sign in since you already have an account. We're going to sign in using Google. And then it should take you to your screen where you can select your login. So I'm going to pick my school one. And then that should take you to your main home page. Now I've had mine for a while, so you can see I've got four different things here. But for now, I'm just going to go up to this corner here where it says create in order to pick a new document. So it's going to give you two options. Uh, we're going to go with the defaulted one. Start from a blank score sheet. So it should already be there. You click OK. Now the default instrument for note flight is piano. We know this because we see two lines here. The bottom line is for the right hand of the piano, um, and the top line is for the left hand of the piano. Sorry, that's mixed up. Uh, bottom line is left hand, top line is right hand. Um, but we are not going to use the piano part, so instead what we're going to do is go way up here and uh, click the guitar logo where it says parts. Uh, and as you can see, boom, there's the piano line. Um, we are going to add a part. So we're going to type in our instrument name, guitar. It gives us a couple different options here. You are going to want to click on just regular old guitar and then hit OK. So now you can see it's added my guitar line here. I've got a piano line and a guitar line. I'm going to delete my piano line. Um, please don't just edit the piano line. If you do that, you're going to end up with two different guitar lines. Trust me, it ends up being a little bit of a disaster. So once you've done that, you can X out. And we have four measures. There's a spot where you can enter a title or a subtitle. It doesn't have to have a title if you don't want it to. Composer name it would be your name. And then lyricist is if someone writes lyrics, but not necessary during this time. So you'll put your name here. And then if you want to create a title, you can create a title. You know, whatever. Um, and then the next uh, most important thing for you to know is how to save it. So you have a little cloud logo up here. You hit save and there it is. The next time you go to your homepage, you should be able to find this document. So that is the first part of how to create a new piece of music. Uh, stay tuned for the second part.